Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk. However, today I wish to speak as the GM of the weekly tabletop games run Wednesdays on RVT. I don't often care for discussing drama, but I felt this is one thing that I needed to speak my mind of. I am, of course, discussing the recent affair regarding Roll20, its moderation, management, and the potential future of RV Tabletop. For those who aren't aware, there was a recent spat of drama on the Roll20 subreddit. A user named Apostle Zero had made a long post offering constructive criticism of the platform. He was banned for this post for reasons of circumventing an earlier ban, i.e. that he was banned a year ago, even though that was not the case. Ostensibly, this was due to him having a similar argument and or name to someone banned previously. Roll20 co-founder Nolan T. Jones expounded on this further, which resulted in one of the most downvoted posts on Reddit, second only to the infamous Pride and Accomplice post regarding Star Wars Battlefront 2. In an act of damage control, it was later announced the mods on Roll20 subreddit were let go and their responsibilities were transferred over to the mods of the Roll20 Looking for Group subreddit. All three beats of the story will be linked in the description, as the original post was mirrored on the D&D subreddit. Now, I've known about a few of Nolan's antics from the past, such as his desire to ban groups that he viewed as having wrong think, but at the time I considered it merely an isolated case of a jerk being a jerk. Most leaders are jerks anyways. However, in light of recent videos made by Taking 20 and Dawnforge cast, links will be in the description, two of the larger D&D channels on YouTube, I began to form a pattern of behavior in my mind. Because of this, the message that was given to me was that of Roll20's management akin to being a click in high school. Hearing talk of inclusion from both Roll20, Wizards of the Coast, and Paizo has begun to ring hollow as a result of this. It appeared that they only hold to these morals when it's to their social benefit, i.e. when it lets them look good. So... What does this mean for the future of the tabletop streams on Wednesdays? Well, for now, I'll be sticking with Roll20 due to the amount of effort made towards my current campaigns, as well as my desire to run the Burn Bright Quick Start in the future for testing purposes. But in the coming weeks, I'll be doing an extended amount of research into the Fantasy Grounds Virtual Tabletop, which seems to be the top competitor among the opinions of my peers. I'll need to ascertain how accommodating it is towards games outside of the D20 and Savage Worlds bubble, as well as how effective it will suit our group. If it's too much of a gamble, I'll be remaining with Roll20, but if it proves viable, I'll see to moving things to Fantasy Grounds in a slow and methodical manner. Time will tell if I need to end a three-year relationship with Roll20, but this is not something I make lightly. Until next we meet, I am your gaming monk, stay frosty people.